What's going on everyone, Metal Raymond here and welcome back to yet another video today. We are covering part 2 of the update from uh, last week that you guys have seen in my God Wars Dungeon uh, Superior video. Today we're covering another part of that update because like I said in that video, it is massive. And today we're going to go over the Max Guild expansion. I'm going to have it on screen right now so you guys can read along a little bit. The new Max Guild expansion comes with things like the Sacred Dungeon. A brand new dungeon can be unlocked in the Max Guild. To unlock the Sacred Dungeon you must have at least one of the following requirements. 200 mil XP in all stats or Grand Max Cape unlocked or Completion Escape unlocked. If eligible it will cost a one time fee of 100 Ancient Shots. And within the dungeon you will be able to find all kinds of different monsters such as the Amethyst Golems must be attacked with a pickaxe and grants mining experience in combat. Drops a variety of ores including Amethyst of course. Also has a rare chance to drop Ancient Shots. Very useful. The Sacred Titans drop great rewards including Sacred Tokens and the new Knight is Not Face Guard. An amazing helm. It has some really good stats. I think it's like 10 strength bonus or something. And additionally, if you manage to receive a Grand Titan key drop, you can access the new boss. So we're going to be doing a hundred of those in this video as well. On top of that, on top of showing everything else off, because I thought that would be hella fun. When using a Grand Titan key on the portal in the dungeon, you will access the Grand Titan instance. This boss has a great variety of drops, including the Knight Does Not Face Guard, Sacred Dogen's Grand Crest Pieces and the Grand Titan Pet. Gives plus 20% drop rate in Max Guild Dungeons. Interesting, that might be a really nice one to use when you're camping those NPCs out there. On top of that, there's also a new inventor shop. I'm not gonna read all of that out because I will show you guys in the stat, but first, we're gonna roll the giveaway clip. Hey guys, Metal Raymond here taking a break from the skilling to show you guys some juicy bonds once again. We have a $50 bond giveaway for this video. All you need to do is, of course, subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment during game name down below, and turn on the post notifications. If you've done all of that, you enter the giveaway, wish you all the best of luck on that. If you're new to Runex, you want to try out the game for yourself, please do use the link at the top of the description. And other than that, make sure you join my private Discord for tons of extra benefits, news updates and much, much more. With that being said, let's get into this video, shall we? Alright then guys, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of shit in my inventory, a ton of different items. And we're gonna go over why you need those specific items in just a minute when we get to the guild. So like I said in the intro, you do have some pretty high requirements, either 200 mil XP in all stats, Grand Max Escape or the Completion Escape. This one works, but it's extremely difficult to get. I feel like you would be better off getting the Completion Escape to be honest, although there's some really difficult in there, difficult ones in there as well. So here we have the Max Escape. So there are a few small a little updates that happen to this place. First off, if you trade this guy, I do believe, which ones were new? Let me check that out real quick. I think it's the gloves, boots and shield. But I do want to make sure that that's correct. Yes, sky shields, boots and gloves. So those are the new items. 12 amethyst for an ac acolyte shield. And then this one and this one. How good is it? It's pretty decent. It has some insane prayer actually. Never really knew that. Would be interesting like if you're AFKing something really hard. I don't know if there are many other sets with that much prayer bonus, but looks pretty dope nonetheless. Nothing too insane over there, but right here there is a brand new NPC. And he is a real interesting one. If we go over here and trade him, he actually has a very interesting stock of blueprints. It allows you to learn a certain new skills. For example, we have the Sanfu Flask Blueprint. Used to craft potion flask with flask of water and respective for those potion. They cost 5000 Sanfu Serums 4, which we have right here. So we can buy that bad boy. And now we can create them with flasks of water, combine them with Sanfu Force, and in order to create the new Sanfu flasks. Saves you a lot of time if you're doing very specific things. Next up, the Ultimate Combat Flask Blueprint 5000 Ultimate Combat Potions. Used to craft potions, blah, 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 blah. All right, so we can buy one of those as well, I do believe. Oh, no, it, this one, <laughs> whoopsie. This one is for the regular one. And if you do have 5,000 of the super combat ones, these one, the ultimate combat potions, gotta get used to those names, man. Then you can also get this one. So now you have different blueprints for which potions you need, and you also have stamina prayer, but I believe those were the newly additional ones. Next up, we have the Amethyst Cannonball Blueprint. Allows you to create Amethyst Cannonballs. Requires a hundred thousand of them. 
gone. Disappeared. <laughs> but it deals, deals 1 to 7 bonus damage on top of what the cannon was already hitting. So very worth it in my opinion to unlock this blueprint. Specifically because it sounds extremely useful. You know, extra damage is always welcome. Next up we have the Arclight Eye. Deals 10 more damage than a regular Arclight against demons. If we have a look at the stats, actually I'm going to wear one of the normal arc lights just to see if it does give any additional stats. It does, a 30 slash bonus and 3 more prayer, no strength bonus unfortunately. But you know, it deals 10 more damage, so can you complain? Requires 5 normal arc lights, a boom, a bada bang, and there it is. And then last but not least, the Cape of Myth's Eye gives same perks as 200 mil maxed capes. Regular Cape of Myth's gives same perks as a standard max cape. Costs 1 billion GP. Brand new cape, looks hella sick if you ask me. I always love what Ryan does to like colors on both Spawn PK and Runex. It always looks hella tight. I love those little particle effects. It even has like a little windiness, it's like I'm consistently farting. Awesome. Uh, then we have all the other blueprints, so... Oh, we need to have those in our inventory in order to create them? I thought you would just, you know, read them and then it would be all Gucci Gucci gang for the rest of your life. And then you could create them, but I guess you have to use them to make them or something like that. And of course the new Arglide, which will look hella dope as well. Nice little particle effect, same purple colorish as the cape with an Arglide in the middle. Like I said, absolutely stunning. I mean, look at that Zilliana, for example, that blue booty. The fucking particle effects, man, Ryan always nailing that stuff. I'm gonna go ahead here and jump the gun a little bit because we do have an entire hundred keys to fill out. You know what I'm saying? It should be uh, somewhere over the rainbow. Anyway, gonna do a hundred of those. Quite interesting, the four those turn straight into a six those because those are also filled with water. That does save quite a bit. I was assuming you needed one and a half potion to make one flask, so that's a nice little cost efficient thingy right there. Alright, so you want to move over to this ladder right here and go for the second option, enter the sacred dungeon. If it's your first time clicking that button, it will ask for the 100 shards that you need to sacrifice in order to get in. And instantly you can see the new sacred titans that have been added. Also drops flask of water, saves you a little bit of money. Nothing too crazy on the normal drop table, some ring of wealth right here for some easy rune coins. Some flasks, shame they can't be noted. And then the Grand Titan keys at a 1 in 100 uh, drop rate. I don't know why it says gives plus 20% drop rate while in Max Guild Dungeon. Like, huh? I can I can carry a key on me in order to get drop rate? That's weird. Pretty sure it said that uh, the pet gave that effect, not the key. But right here is the normal Sacred Titan pet that doesn't do anything special. Knight is not face guard, increases melee max hit by plus 1. Gonna assume it raises the cap similar like on Spawn PK. And Sacred Tokens at a 1 in 133 rate. Pretty good overall, but you know, you want to kill these in order to make a little bit of money while you're getting those keys and then go in for the big boss. And if you move along a little bit further here, you can also see the Amethyst Golems. Pretty cool. Has some basic rock thingies um, drops. Amethyst as well and Ancient Shards 1 to 3 at a 1 in 100 rate. But you gotta kill those with a pickaxe. How about we go ahead and try to kill one of these little normal Sacred Titans just to see how it goes overall. It is doable with Soul Split, but I have a feeling I could just pray against him, but I'm not even sure what style it uses. Can I just pray melee here and it doesn't hit you at all? That is the real question in life. Raw Angler Fish. Damn, these are some pretty decent drops. Gonna go ahead and finish this kill and then we're gonna move on to the big boss and try to do a hundred kills of that son of a bitch. That Infanter alone, um, well it's not a new NPC but the new potions you can make and especially the cannonballs, absolutely legendary. Now as you guys can see I have a straight up hundred keys up in here. Up in here. The only issue is that at the moment the lever in the boss room isn't working. I did let Ryan know so I hope he fixes it soon but Every time I do a kill, I have to walk all the way through it again. I'll show you guys the complete path just so you know what I have to get through. And here we are at the portal. Right here you can click on it and it will ask if you want to go to the Grand Titan boss. It costs a key every time you go in. Obviously it doesn't respawn, you'll have to get out and respawn him. 
like I said, there's supposed to be a working lever right there that you can use to go back to the portal, I assume, and then go back in if you want to. If you have multiple keys, that would be very nice. He does hit a little bit harder than the normal ones that we were fighting earlier. And you know, as for prayers, I have no freaking clue what this guy's even using. Looks like mage, but who can say really? Not a little 98, this Sar sword is really nice in my opinion. Surely there are better options out there, don't get me wrong here. Oh god, don't kill me. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my, it doesn't stop hitting. I guess it's good that I have to bank every time. There's a sack of riches on the very first kill. I'ma go do 99 more and I'll check you guys with the full loot unless we get a really rare drop in those 100 kills. Our first alright drop, the majority of it is just coins but there is a master task bottle. Alright now we're starting to talk, a crest piece 1 as well as some other items. Dragon Blade Legs itself is refreshing to see because the majority is just ashes on the floor and nothing else. Ooh, 5 sacred tokens out of nowhere, that is very nice. Some mahogany, mahogany logs and another sack of riches. Would you look at that 22kc and the face guard already. That is insane. Damn. That is that is crazy, man. Looks so nice. Only 22 kills in without tokens. That's pretty good. Oh, it's actually 1 in 25, so we, you know. Well, to be fair, 1 in 25. I mean, you, you do need a key every single kill. So even though we didn't get extremely lucky on the drop rate by any means, we still it's still nice to see. We got a crust piece tree right there as well as another bag. Alright, and that is kill number 50. I have two deaths so far. Very unfortunate, but at some point it just hit like straight 50s in a row and it fucking killed me. <laughs> Alas, another face guard. 31 keys left, so that is 69 in. The mouth. We also got sacred tokens in the same fucking kill right there on 69. If that ain't a meme in and of its own worth your like, then I don't know what is. And there is another grand crest piece. Interesting, because I do believe that is the one piece we were missing. Actually, if I just open the collection log on that Titan boy, assuming he was at it, who was he though? Well then, how unfortunate, it doesn't seem like he actually has a collection log. I would assume I would be pretty far on it if there was one, but that is a little bit unfortunate. Crest piece too, yeah, it was the one piece I was missing, so to make this even easier, because we have some double pieces, we now know we have one full crest completed. Alright then, I didn't get a drop on this kill just now, however, we have five more keys to go. My god, did this take longer than I expected, it has been like five, six hours at this point. This was a chore, alright, I really hope Ryan fixes that lever soon before you guys start getting into this more heavily. Honestly, kind of disappointed with how many we've seen so far, due to the fact that we have a, a fairy that gives 30% drop, uh, drop rate alone, let alone any gear that gives any. You can't check it exactly like on Spawn PK, but j j Jesus Christ, 100 kills, 1 in 25, with so much drop rate, wh where are they at? And that was the last key, the last kill I could do. For nothing, because it dropped jack shit. So if I remember correctly, piece 2 and piece 1 were the ones that I had at the start. And I also had one task, bottle 1 master. So more so like this is about what we got from all of our kills. Enough to make 134 prey renewals, nothing too special. Two face guards, um, would have expected more, but you know, can't complain too much I guess. Six dragon chain bodies, I don't really know why, but you know. Room points, I guess, room coins. A bunch of mahogany logs. 50 sacred tokens, so at least enough tokens to buy a Zebo off of that alone. So if you ask me, that alone is, you know, pretty worth it. But there is obviously quite a time investment in getting a hundred keys. Then on top of that, nine sacks of riches and 137 mil in straight coins. We also got a a few task bottles like normal ones but didn't really know what I start with not really worth it either also a few D squares but that rounds it about up for all the drops and of course one completed grand crest um, that's stacked on top of all the other ones over here but one of those and all of the other drops that we see right here is what we ended up getting would you say it's worth it I don't really know it also really depends on how long it takes to 
get a hundred keys, you know what I mean? I'm gonna quickly open all these sacks, see what kind of loot you get from that on top of it. Nothing too crazy, but not too bad either by any means. A few skilling points, 50k blood money. Interesting, but... Meh. Wish I would have seen the patch. That would have been very nice. Oh well, this is going to be the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video of mine. Metal Raymond out.